Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good morning, Angie. Good morning. Getting some flowers taped up so you can see what I'm drawing as I go today. Good morning, Chris. Hey, Matt. I hope everybody has their coffee. I'm getting my flowers taped up so y'all can see what I'm doing as I go. This is live stream number three for me. Hey, Alice, good morning. Or David or Henry or Anna, whoever's watching. Good morning. So I'm, I'm learning as I go with my live streams. Hey, good morning, Aaron. But if I don't know you, I see new names every time. If I don't know you, please tell me who you are in the comments. And there it is, Andy. Oh, there's the feet. <laughs> I have to drink left-handed so you can see it better. Um, how's that? There's my MMFA uh, Cappy Thompson mug. I got distracted by my mug. Um, but so good morning. If this is your first time watching or if I've not ever called you out before, that means that I'm not aware of who you are yet and I would love to be. So please, um, that's enough. Please leave your name and where you're watching from in your, in your, in my comments, in the comments. Let us know who you are. And um, I like to know everybody's favorite flower, so please tell me that. Um, I hope everyone's having a great morning. It's gorgeous weather here in Montgomery. Um, a nice chilly morning, which is a little unusual for early May, mid-spring, um, but it's cold here, and I like it. I mean cold. <laughs> for a southerner, it's cold, okay? It's chilly, that's why I'm wearing my jacket. Um, hey, Sister Alicia, I love you. I'm happy you're watching from San Diego. What temperature is it in San Diego with permanent, beautiful weather? all the time, year round, every day. I'm just so happy to see so many people. Good morning, I'm gonna get going pretty quick. I'm gonna keep, there we go. Hi Brandy. Um, Brandy was just on a second ago. Um, I was doing a trial run on my art page. Um, I have a laptop up today so that I can actually watch y'all's comments over here while I'm drawing here. So um, it'll also keep me on time. So here I go. It's 9.32. Um, we have about 12 people watching. Uh, Brandy's asked what flower we chose for today. Um, and so the vote that won was Snapdragon. Sorry, Brandy, I know you voted for geranium everywhere you could. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, on my personal pages, my art page um, and a flower page and my actual personal page on Instagram, I did some um, polls to see if people wanted to, to um, watch me draw geraniums or snapdragons, and snapdragons overwhelmingly won. Um, so which is great because they're my second favorite flower and I love them. Although I love geraniums too and I've done them a lot. But um, anyway, we are gonna do snaps today. If you don't know, um, I, I grew up loving snapdragons because not only are they gorgeous, but they talk to you, they can talk. So they say, oh, let me see if I can get that. The yellow doesn't show well, there it is. Hello, good morning, thank you for being here. That one wasn't doing a great job, but you get the idea. Um, Aaron, don't laugh at me too hard. All right. Brandy, please don't leave even though I'm not doing geraniums. Okay. All right. Let's draw. I've had a lot of coffee this morning, y'all. I am like up here, but I'm going to keep drinking it. So we'll see how it goes. All right. If this is your first time joining today, I'm going to start with drawing, basic, okay? I'm using a regular drawing pencil, but I do a very soft lead. I'm using a 4B today. 
And that just means that um, it's gonna look very dark because the lead is so loose. Normally when I'm drawing, um, I like to use a very light pencil, so a very hard lead. Um, normally like a, like, I don't know, HB, 3H, a little closer, the H range means it's a, a, a more compressed lead. Um, but so that y'all can see it while I'm drawing, I like to use a soft lead pencil. There, there are my lovely yellow snaps. Um, yes, they are from my garden and they overwintered. So they are a couple years old now and they are very uh, profusely blooming this year, this spring. And what I'm gonna do is, I can zoom in a little bit more if you want me to. Is everybody doing all right? Can I get some hellos? I'm having a great morning. I've got my coffee. I hope everybody's having a great morning. I've got my coffee. There's my, my Montgomery MMFA Muse mug. If you're familiar with our um, Stars Falling on Alabama window at the museum, um, designed by, created by the fabulous Cappy Thompson, this mug is, um, reflects the design by the same artist. Cool stuff. All right, yay, Gretchen's here. I can get started now. <laughs> All right. Oh, you can't see my mug when I am um, zoomed in, but I'll, I'm sure I'll drink it a lot. Like I said, I'm all, all about coffee this morning. So, I'm drawing Snapdragons today, and we are gonna be, as usual, I'm gonna be drawing very lightly and very loosely. Oh, Enid's drinking espresso, artist after my own heart. Um, I, 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 well, I'm going to be so distracted today because I've had so much coffee. All right, I can do this. Okay, here are my snaps. Let's just get going. Um, if you've watched me before, I like to start in the middle of flowers. It's just how I roll. So we break everything down by lines. I get a little closer on the flower so I can show you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Here they are. So what I'm gonna be doing, oh, now you can't see. There it is. I'm gonna be following like these little curves. You see, so wonderful and so delicate, this little ruffle almost on Snapdragons. I love that about those petals. And so I'm gonna be drawing really loosely so that I don't lose how, how ruffly and delicate they are. So here we go. I think everybody has their coffee, who drinks coffee. Alice, I'm assuming you have tea. You're my tea drinker. All right, good morning, Ruth, hello. Here we go, getting started. I'm gonna start with, there's so many here, but I like the whole bunch, so I didn't wanna lose anybody. I'm gonna start with this guy right here, um, who you can't necessarily see very well, but he's looking directly at me. I'm looking at a different angle than you. Do -do. Little fluff like this. Curve lines, break it down by line. Don't worry, don't stress, have fun. I'm just gonna keep drawing a little curve in here. There's my other part of that. Oh, that's a little too elongated. There we go. Do a quick erase. I can't find my pink pearl this morning, so I am using just a mechanical. Whoop, mechanical pencil to erase. Like I've said before, use what you have. We don't have to stress about having all these perfectly proper materials. I mean, it's good if you do also. Congratulations, that's wonderful. But if you're like me and you have a, you know, toddler, um, things get misplaced. And so I just kind of have to go with what I can find at the time. She is in a stage of, um, she really enjoys hiding things, but then she won't remember where she put them. Um, so a lot of the time I'm just trying to, to find <laughs> where she's put things. Can y'all see that okay while I'm drawing? Is it a little off to the side? That might be better. I'll zoom in a little more. That might be better. There you go. So yeah, so snapdragons are almost like a little, like, I don't know, like a dress, almost like a little 
a little flouncy dress that someone's put on. There, you go there. Maybe my bottom. I like that. And we've got a little bit, I can't really see the back part of that from the angle I'm at. I'm just seeing the front of it. And so then I'm gonna go over here to this guy that y'all can't see at all, so I apologize, but soon I'll get to the ones that you can see. So today's theme is fun with color, and so I'm just having fun today. Um, the last couple of live streams I have focused on drawing and then doing um, watercolor paints, which is also fun, but today I'm going to use Prismacolor pencils, which make my heart happy. I love the way they blend. I love the colors. Let's see. Oh, my sister's leaving because she has to go feed my nephew. Lame Alicia. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you. I love Wesley. All right. Um, okay, up here now. Wesley, I can't wait to see the art that you make. Maybe you'll make some more flowers or something nature-y. Send me a picture. I love you. So also, in case you weren't aware, um, I had a little little poll, and people got to vote what I did today. Um, it was either going to be snaps or snapdragons or um, geraniums, and snaps won, obviously. That's why I'm doing snaps, snapdragons. Hey, Christy, good morning. How are you doing? Randy, who voted, like I said, everywhere she could for geraniums, has just let me know that she heard the snapdragon tell her that I should be drawing geraniums. <laughs> very clever, very clever. All right, so in here, I'm going to have, there's a little simple line back on this one for the stem. They have very small, delicate stems, and I can't really see the stem otherwise because it's so covered in leaves. So I'm just going to do, and these leaves are so nice and long, took the whole kind of leaf shape, a little, a little narrow, just going to kind of throw them in. So I'm overlapping lines to give the idea that this leaf is obviously in front of this one, but when we add color, I'll be able to use the color to enhance that idea. Oh, Angie, you want, you, you want geraniums too? All right, guys, I hear you. Everybody should have voted on my poll then. I mean, Brady, again, you did. Don't worry, you, you, you're covered. I heard you. Let's see, more leaves. And then that stem is connected to my larger kind of base stem. Whenever you're drawing, I've said this before also, but it's a tendency that we want to do is to um, try to to, we think that it would help us be more accurate if we like sketch things like this. Um, and it's actually really helpful to just trust yourself and go with it, like I just did on these lines. So if you're following along today, sorry, I'm moving kind of fast today because I um, cut myself off on time last, last uh, live stream. So I apologize if you're following along and I'm moving too fast. I should take note of that. Is everybody doing okay? Is anybody following along? Show of hands or show of emojis, if you are following along. So Ruth, the poll was um, on one of my, well, one, <laughs> all three of my personal pages. So I've got one uh, on, on Instagram. Um, so one was on my regular page, one was on my art page, um, and one was on my flower obsessor page. Um, so, Maybe I should talk to Stephen and see if I'm allowed to do the poll on the uh, Montgomery, uh, the MFA Instagram account too, and then everybody can have their voice heard. I should have thought of that. I hope you're all okay with the Snapdragons. They're so sweet and so fun. But don't worry. 
<laughs> Geraniums are not forgotten. All right, just kind of adding some leaves. Can y'all see that okay? I want some more flowers too, but I don't want to get too caught up in my flowers, as I generally can do. As the leaves get farther down the stem, I'll move this over a little bit. As the leaves get farther down the stem, they get larger. Um, and closer up next to where the flowers are, they are smaller. So something we talk about, I'm going to show you without moving you to make it easier on us all. Um, something we've talked about with this live stream before for, for this um, botanical art class is that the whole point of botanical art is to be looking closely and um, drawing accurately. So that's part of it. So as a, as a looker, if I'm looking for accuracy, I'm going to notice that the bigger leaves are lower and the smaller leaves are up, up high next to where the flowers are. And that would help someone looking at this be able to identify what it is. All right. <laughs> Angie says no more poles, just geraniums from here on out. Super. Angie is the director. She's in charge, so I guess that's what I have to do. Um, okay. Let's see. Luckily, Angie's actually a very kind person and does not tell me exactly what I have to do. So I know she's joking. <laughs> I think. <laughs> well, apparently he has, Angie has all the uh, geraniums. All right. Let me add some more leaves. I'm getting too distracted by y'all and your geranium talk. I want this leaf to kind of come in the front. You can't see the stem anymore. Disappearing stem. Anybody else? This is a very leafy um, snapdragon, and I want to make sure that that healthiness is shown through in this drawing. So I'm adding, I normally really do focus on flowers a little bit more, but I'm adding some more of these leaves to represent it well. Um, and if this is your first time watching, I'll just say again, we break everything down by lines. I'm looking really closely. I'm not trying to take the whole thing um, at a, a, a attack. <laughs> um, I am looking at each little individual part, each little petal, each little line of the leaf, and drawing it line by line. And that helps me stay calm and really um, get a feel for the shape of everything. So I want to add a couple more, make sure y'all are going to be able to see it. Let me zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Hopefully y'all can still see. All right. I want to add a couple more flowers. So one, two, three. I want this guy right here, but my other flowers are kind of in the way. Let's go back. There we go. So right here, this guy's behind this one. So I'm going to do this part of you like this. With that nice little ruffle right there. And then that petal is coming like that. I appreciate the compliment, Brandy. Brandy says that my proportions look good, which is great. I'm glad they do. But I want to say as a note of encouragement, if you feel like your proportions are off, the great thing about drawing um, or painting or whatever kind of art you're doing um, is that you can always fix it. <laughs> That's another reason why we'd like to draw lightly, right? So we can go back with our eraser and fix it if we need to. Even if you're painting, you can go back and fix it. Just got to paint over it. That's a little better. That guy needs to come out. And you're there. That's nice. Let's see. Yeah, Brandy Alice just brought up your gorgeous scone that we saw in Art Talk. 
I'm going to agree with that. Absolutely gorgeous. And y'all should see the work of art that Brandy just did yesterday that she put on her art page on Instagram. It's amazing. Let's see. I feel like I'm um, talking a lot to people I already know. Is there anyone who's watching who, who I don't know, who I haven't addressed, who has any questions or um, has any interest in seeing something different drawn next time? Favorite flowers if you haven't told me yet? I love to know. So this one I'm drawing right now is looking away from us. Um, it's off camera right now, but it is not facing me. It's looking in the other direction. Let's see. Actually, it's down a little bit more. Nothing there. Can y'all hear me okay? A little bit more of this trunk. That. It's nice. Well, what is this gap I have here? I didn't I didn't look as accurately as I thought because there's a gap here that isn't there in the real one. So we're just gonna say that um, let's see. We're gonna come like that and we're gonna add some leaves. So here I am talking about looking closely and being accurate, and I'm like, and then just make it up, you know, and that's fine. Um, but it is art. You do have artistic license. This is botanical art, not botanical illustration. Botanical illustration being um, for, like, actual reference and needing to be extremely accurate. Um, so that is why, that's, that's my justification. I can have a little fun if I want to. I'm not trying to, you know, make a book just yet. Believe me, I thought about it. I am interested. I think it would be a lot of fun to make uh, a floral book. All right, I'm almost done, and we're going to add color soon. We're doing great. 952. Excellent. Leave that there. These ones have little smaller ones in there I want to make sure I get. So if you don't know, this would be, see where they're small again? I told you that where they're smaller means that there's going to be flowers. This is a little offshoot right here. These, if I had not cut it to its uh, in, um, impending death this morning, this would have eventually grown to be more flowers right here. But oh well, now you just get to be part of a pretty drawing. You're living out your life the way that we need you to, right? Yes, Angie, just figure it out as you go. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm erasing some of these lines that I drew where I now want there to be something in front of them. Not perfect, but I like it. I know what it is, and that makes me happy. All right. Yes, I'm a flower killer. But it's okay because I'm also a flower grower. Huh? Yeah? So I... I I grow them, and then I, if I want to cut them, that's okay, too. I'm taking a quick coffee break before I go to color. My drawing is done. How's everybody doing? Take your break. Take your coffee break. Drink some coffee. I don't mean to force that on you. I say that every time. You don't have to drink coffee. It's okay if you're not a coffee drinker. I just really like it. Um, so if you would rather have tea or water, even juice, whatever you want, your choice, Okay. How's everybody doing? Is anybody following along? Have I moved too fast? Do you have any questions before I move to color? All right. I don't see anything yet. I'm keeping an eye on it. So I have, um, like I said, I'm going to be using Prismacolor pencils. Yes, before I do my colors, I will um, zoom back in on the drawing. I'll do it right now if you like, so you can see it while I'm talking about Prismacolors. Let's see, and I can try to get it to focus. Let me see if I need to. Is that better? Is that nice? Can y'all see that okay? I can try to move it. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't a total disaster. Oh, except now I can't get my easel up. There it is. 
Is that better, y'all? Can you see that okay? I can move it up just a little bit. Um, whoop. Zoom. Focus. How is that? Can you see that okay? Um, Meg has asked where um, we get art supplies or where I personally buy my art supplies. Um, and the answer to that is wherever I find them. Um, I will pick up stuff at Target. I'll pick it up at Michael's. I'll go to Hobby Lobby. I'll get it from Walmart. Um, and I'm also, again, like you don't have to have a proper drawing pencil. If you want to use just a mechanical pencil, it's, it's still going to work. You know, you don't have to have all the proper, all the proper materials. Um, and really most stores do have an art aisle if they are, you know, a general retail store. I mean, obviously, I don't think you're going to be able to, like, go into Banana Republic and find paints. But um, I told y'all, all the coffee this morning, I'm on it. Okay. We are going to add color now. So part of looking close, pause due to poor connection. Everybody good? Can you see me okay? Can you hear me, I mean? Can't see me because I'm not there. Can you see my flowers? I'll give it a second just in case I lost anybody. Part of looking closely is noticing that, yes, you see yellow, right? And they are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Thank you. Um, when you look at quick glance at these, you're like, okay, they're yellow. When you look closely at these, there is, you know, a tinge of more of a orange yellow near the tip here. And they actually have a little bit of a green to them, not just in the actual stem and leaves, but down in the body here of the flower, what I'm calling the trunk, which doesn't really make sense, I suppose, because the trunk is the nose of an elephant, but it feels like a trunk to me. Um, there is definitely a proper name for this part of the flower that I, at the top of my head, do not know, but I will find out and I will tell you. Um, but so anyway, my point is look closely and see what all colors you're finding. Um, yellow is, is not a great, <laughs> not a great color to work with, with paints, um, unless you know how to play with it right. But so we are doing colored pencils today and you still get to have some fun with color. So I've got a variety of yellows, I've got my white, I've got some greens, I want to get a little bit of an orange and a red, kind of an orangey red. All right. So zoom back out for a second. Hello, Prismacolors, yay, beautiful, gorgeous colors. I prefer Prismacolors because they blend so easily and so well, just coloring one on top of the other. I don't use a blending stick. Um, I'm not knocking it. If you do, great, good, enjoy that. Um, that is a tool that people use that does exactly what you think it does. It blends the colors. Um, I just like to color. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So my biggest tip with adding color with color pencils um, and actually acrylic paints too, although I'm not doing that right now. Um, let's see. Andy, that's still part of it. They, they call that the petal? Really? I mean, I guess it is attached. I'm just so surprised. But thank you for looking. Um, so I'm going to start with this canary yellow, really, really bright pop kind of yellow. Okay, bye Alice, see you later. Bye Henry, bye David, bye Anna. Have a great day, have fun with AP Art History. All right, those of you who just joined, perfect timing. Um, our Snapdragons are drawn and I am now about to add color. So, zooming in. Let me know if that's a good place for y'all. You can still see the yellow, you can see the flowers. All right, here we go. Like I said, Prismacolors, I love them because they blend so well. And um, we're starting with a good, bold yellow. The trick that I was talking about that I'm gonna show you is um, if you look at a petal's shape, or really any object, but since we're talking about flowers today, a petal. Um, so, these are rounded, okay? A snapdragon doesn't have straight petals. They are very roughly, very rounded. And so like when I'm, when I'm coloring in 
this section, I'm gonna make my color rounded. What on earth does that mean? I will show you. Okay. Oh, lobe. I like lobe more. Yeah, that makes more sense to me, lobe. We're gonna call it the lobe. Thank you, Angie. All right, so adding color here, making sure you can see what I'm doing. You can zoom in just a little bit more. Yes, it will. Fabulous. Stay. Stop moving. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So this part of the petal here is like a, a big kind of like a hump. And so I'm going to use my color in that same way. All right, so I'm not just going to do these straight lines. I'm not going to go this way. That wouldn't make sense to my drawing. Now, I might go that way when I'm doing some of these shadows, um, but we'll get there in a minute. Don't get ahead of yourself, Laura. All right, and then I also like to kind of work in circles, especially in a place like this to make it soft. All right, and then down on these petals that are kind of like the skirt I was talking about earlier. Um, just the same thing. I'm going to follow those lines that I made them with and keep it soft, keep it kind of curvy. I don't want to interrupt the flow of this flower by doing harsh straight lines in the petals. I want to keep it soft. Now. So if you missed my demonstration earlier of how snapdragons talk to you and my explanation of that being why they're one of my favorite flowers, um, I'm really sorry you missed it. <laughs> Just kidding. And maybe, maybe Mr. Snapdragon will say something else before we're done. All right. So right now I'm just using one color so far. Yes, it's picking up some of my pencil because I used a very soft lead. Pause for a second. Someone was trying to call me. Somebody doesn't know that I'm doing a live stream right now. Okay. There we go. So yeah, so it's picking up some of the lead, um, the graphite from the pencil, because it was such a soft lead pencil that I used, so that y'all can see it well. But that's okay. It, we can work with it. I'm not upset about it. Um, okay, so right now it's just yellow, but it's very straight yellow. I'm really wanting to enliven it. I'm gonna use a little white, I'm gonna use a little green. Let's see, this is an apple green. That's a nice, whoops, there it is. A nice kind of grassy yellow green. And then white, I'm gonna use, it is truly called white. Um, I'm gonna use to kind of add a little bit of highlight and blend things together, a little, soften it up a little bit. All right, everybody still good? Last few comments I heard were from Angie helping me know what, what the different parts of a Snapdragon are. Whitney, are you following along today? Whitney Ganyon, my love. I can't wait to see what you make. All right. Do I want green yet? Yeah, sure. So I'm going to bring green in for some of my shadows. Um, not, not heavily. Don't get crazy. But I'm going to just kind of softly put it in here for where there's gonna be a little bit of a shadow in that, in that ruffle. And so this is where, again, something I talk about every single time is the, the light, uh, a light touch. And you can practice, you know, if it's something you're not comfortable with. Like I'm barely touching the paper right now, y'all, but color is transferring. See the effect that's having? Just a subtle little bit of green. And it's getting the, the uh, ruffle that is within the petal, not just the outer edge, but the way that it um, moves on the petal. Hi, Emily. Good morning. Happy you're here. Hope you have some coffee.
All right, so again, y'all, I'm not using harsh straight lines to add these soft shadows. Kind of blending it in using kind of rounded, soft strokes. Hey, Donna. I'm glad you like Snapdragons too. I'm not surprised we have even more things in common. Let's see. How's that looking? Getting a little life. And then I'm going to use a little bit of white. I can come back over it with the yellow that I was using just to kind of blend it in, but that's nice. That makes it good and bold. That's what we want. Still want to. So again, Prismacolors are amazing. They blend so well. I'm kind of, I'm not doing this. I'm not going, oops, you can't see that, can you? I'm not going like this. I'm not doing that as I color it in. I'm doing this. I'm moving it in a round way that kind of keeps it soft. 1006, we're doing great. Y'all, I'm just so happy everybody is here. I hope you're having a good time. Thank you for being with me. I'm, I'm flower obsessed, plant obsessed, really flower obsessed, <laughs> but not knocking plants that don't flower. They're great too. All right, a little white. So some of the petals are a little bit of more of a pale yellow. Um, I don't have my cream this morning, meaning my Prismacolor pencil that is called cream, which you can imagine the color is an off-white. Um, so I'm just going to use white and kind of blend it in with some of these spots where it needs to be a little lighter. So, going to help soften it up. And again, I'm picking up some of the graphite, not intentionally, but it's not the end of the world. It works. And this part rounded. Oh, it's like butter. I love it. Let that kind of be a highlight. You need to be a highlight for sure. So I'm using the white a lot harder than I was using the other colors. So I'm really wanting to transfer the white on there so that we're really getting that pale yellow where I need it. So I'm like really pressing now, which is what I've been telling you the entire time to not do. But, um, you know, as we've already seen, I can also have my artistic license to make my choices. I learned that term from the lovely and beautiful Melissa Tubbs, artistic license. And I use it a lot when I teach um, students of all ages, because I think it's a great thing to understand that you can make your own choices about your art and, um, you know, art is expression, so you need to have fun expressing yourself. Don't worry so much about what everybody else is saying. Unless you're my student, and then you have to do exactly what I say. No, kidding. Kidding! Okay. So that's nice. I still don't think my shadows are strong enough. Let's play with this goldenrod. So, kind of a dirtier yellow. <laughs> Such a mean thing to say. Um, it is not as bright as this yellow, but it's not like brown either. Kind of, I don't know. What are you gonna call that? Dirty yellow, right? Okay. Um, Brandy asked, how many times can you go over before it stops making a difference? Nope, it's gonna keep making a difference. It'll keep blending, it'll keep adding color, it'll keep being beautiful. Yes, that question makes sense. I answered it without even seeing it. You, <laughs> I answered it as I was reading it. I didn't even get to the part where you said, does it make sense? It totally makes sense. Yes, and you can just keep doing it. It'll just keep making it softer and more buttery. I love it, yes. I could go on and on for days about Prismacolor pencils. Okay, so I wanna add some of this in here. Not too much. It's not really the color that I necessarily like. There's a nice little split in here that we need to get. That's nice. That's nice. So again, 
I'm kind of playing with Prismacolors the way I would play with paint. I'm letting the color mix, okay, um, to make new gorgeous, either dark kind of shades of yellow or pulling in the white to make tints where it's a little bit lighter and brighter. Okay, I've spent entirely too much time on one little flower, so I'm going to move on. I'm going to do a little bit of green on the stem, so I'm not just doing flowers again, and I don't run out of time. Um, the, the green of these are very, what I'm going to call again, a, kind of a grass green. Um, they're not dark. They're a pretty yellow green, kind of light. Um, so I'm going to stick with this one a lot, um, and then add a little bit of an actual grass green, which is what Prismacolor calls it, but it's it's a little, it's darker. Can you see the difference? Doop. All right, so starting with the lighter one. Um, so the leaves being a little bit different shape, right, than the petals, there's one that's fallen off. So the petals are rounded, the leaves are very flat, very, um, Aside from having a slight curve on their edge, they're, you know, more narrow, and the line is there. Oh, hey, Catherine. I just went from teacher voice to, like, love voice really fast. Um, my, my dear friend, Catherine Mahaffey, has just joined. She's watching from the Mobile area. I'm so happy you're here. I love you. Good morning. Okay. All right, so back to teaching. Right. Um, for the leaves, I'm gonna still do it softly, but I'm not going as rounded because they're not round, right? So I can color them in a little bit, a little bit more aggressively. Angie, great question. You're gonna have to watch and find out. All right. Send this down there. I'm not going to spend too much time on these because I kind of like my focus being the flowers. Um, and I also, as I've said before, like to keep my drawing, uh, the, the lines of it kind of alive. And so I like it if you can still get the feel of how I initially drew it, you know, fast and loose and so I kind of want the leaves to reflect that to contrast the softness um, of the of the petals if that makes sense right now I'm just using one color to get a good base on I'm gonna go back with the darker green and then probably a little yellow to blend can y'all see this okay let's see Angie, what are you saying? Let's see. Mm. Color theory, yes. You should definitely do the home studio about color. Having fun, keeping this kind of sketchy. Kind of replicating that shape within the leaf. This one's kind of bent though, so I've got to make sure that that is shown. Right. Color here. Y'all, who told me to do so many leaves? What is up? All right. Thank you, Brandy. McDermott. Is Dylan watching today too? Your dear sweet husband who supports the arts. Let's see. That's nice. I only need one back there. All right. I think that's all of my leaves and stem. Thank you. I'm glad you guys are, in, are enjoying. I, I hope you're having a good time. Very flat right now. It's just one color, right? So let's um, 
let's give it some personality and some depth, okay? So, let's see. Oh, good, he saw Madison. Good, fabulous. Well, tell Dylan I said hi, and I'm glad you are getting to watch, Brandy. All right, so I'm using this grass green. It's a little bit darker, and I'm just kind of filling out the idea of where some shadows would be, okay? And again, this is just a start on this. I'm not, I'm not going to cover every single green that I just did. That would make no sense. Um, but I am using the darker green to kind of make it feel like these petals, not petals, leaves are layered, okay? So this one is over this one, so it's casting a shadow. And this one's over this one, so it's casting a shadow, etc. cetera. Um, I'll move this down. And a little shadow also. Dark, 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 dark. All right, dark green, aptly named. Dark green, that's backwards, but you can tell. All right. Angie has asked my dear friend and colleague Aaron if he is going to try color pencils. We have gotten him turned on to watercolor with these live streams, and he is very quickly excelling at that. He's amazing. He is a fellow flower obsessor, Which makes my job even more fun that I have somebody else that I can be weird about flowers with. All right. Believe it or not, guys, I don't just draw flowers all the time. Um, I actually do like teach art and talk about art and um, look at art, <laughs> write about art. Um, I'm using yellow to kind of blend these because um, if you don't know, yellow and blue make green. Um, and so I can use yellow just to kind of keep keep my color proper, staying green, grassing up a little. Let's see. That's also kind of smoothing it together. They're getting a little too yellow, so I'm gonna go back with some more green, but I like the way that it's blending the different greens that I have used. That is why I'm doing that. All right, we are getting close to having only about 10 minutes left, so I need to step up my pace. And what we can do if I don't complete all the flowers, since I got a little ambitious with my drawing this morning, um, is I can see if we can post a final product on our Instagram and our Facebook. Um, so you can see in case I don't finish on time. But I am so happy everybody is here. Um, and... We do have another botanical art scheduled uh, for two weeks from today. Next week on this same account, on the museum's Instagram account, we will have local artists live again. Uh, next week featuring the fabulous Kevin King, who's an amazing um, Montgomery artist. Please tune in uh, next Saturday, May 16th um, from 10 to 10.30 is when Kevin will be on. He will be doing a little demo, I believe. Don't hold me to that. Um, but at the very least, he'll definitely be showing some of his art and talking about it, answering questions. Um, he is wonderful if you don't know him, and I know you will enjoy him. 
So that is next Saturday, May 16th, from 10 to 10.30, right here on the museum's Instagram account. And then the next botanical art will be the following week. Um, what's that, May 23rd? All right, let's see. We're getting there. Angie, what are y'all talking about? Okay, let's see. I'm drinking a little coffee. Architecture school. Angie. Angie, did you go to architecture school? What do I, what do I not know about you? You're confusing me. I'm grabbing the wrong color. All right. I'm going to have to like tell you no more talking. <laughs> no more talking during, during my live stream because I can't focus because I want to know what you're saying. All right. Zoom it out just a little bit to add some more color. Woo! To the other baby flowers. I'm working a little harder than I normally would right now because I'm trying to get this done. This one's not my favorite. I don't like this one as much. I'm so sorry, little guy. Um, but that's okay, because like I was saying about the leaves, I don't have to have every single flower perfect. I want a couple focals. So I'm going to go for this one and this one probably. It's kind of being like the big, like the pop. Like those are the ones I want you to really focus on. Um, let's see. For a whole year, Angie, really. Interesting. Tell me more about that. Not right now. Later. I want to hear about that. Um, let's see. I need a little bit more green in this one. Back to my apple green. Very yellow green. And there's a good shadow in here that I want to make sure that I get. And then down here. Maybe this whole one is a lot more shadowy. Let's back in the shadows. I think I'm whispering to myself. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Yeah, this whole thing should be a little bit darker because it's definitely not as, it's not as forward as this one. So I need to play with it a little bit and give it some more shadow. Which basically, when it, again, when it's yellow, it just means that I'm kind of muckying it up. Let's see. I'm going to leave that one. I don't want it to be a focus. I'm going to move to this one. I'm going to resharpen my yellow really fast. Handheld. Happy sharpener. Whoop. That's better. All right. All right, so this guy here, same thing, I'm going to kind of start in the center, whoops, oh no, I was too aggressive with my sharpening, y'all, do, 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 I'm resharpening, take a moment and look, let's see, Enid, would you ever use the complementary color to bring out the shadows? Yes, 100%. Um, I'm going to look, I have a red ready. I just didn't get there yet, but, um, since we are running out of time, I can do that. So what's, what Edith is saying is the idea, um, with color is you want to use the color that's opposite it on the color wheel. Um, so in the sense of green, that's going to be red, um, with yellow, that would be purple or violet. Um, and it will basically kind of create a neutral, but a, a darker color. And um, I would use that in here wherever I wanted a really strong kind of shadow in there, just to intensify it, basically. And I do that when I paint also. But like I said, Prismacolors are so buttery and blendable. Just little tiny touches make all the difference, y'all. It doesn't have to be a lot. 
see. That is just a, a color pencil thing, honestly, Brandy. Yeah, that's not you. Don't worry. You're not doing anything wrong. Like ever. You never do anything wrong. Everything you do is perfect. All right. I'm moving very fast, y'all, because I only have five minutes left. Um, but like I said, what we will do is uh, see if we can post my finished picture. Um, on our Instagram or our Facebook. Did everybody, how did everybody find out about this? Did you find out about it on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere else? Leave me a message in the comments, curious about that. Um, and again, as usual, if you have not told me yet what your favorite flower is, please do so. Those of you who love geraniums, you have spoken, I know. Don't worry. Um, Eden, in case you missed it, the reason I'm using green in the flower for the shadow is because when you look closely, it has a hint of that kind of green to it. They're, the Snapdragon petals are so translucent, so soft and delicate that um, you can kind of see through them. So I think maybe they pick up some of that green from, from their strong green leaves. We're so happy everybody's enjoyed it and you've been here with me today. I've had a really good time too. And um, please tune in next week, same place, 10 to 10.30 for Kevin King's Local Artist Live. So happy you're all here. Can't wait to see you again. I'll be back um, 9.30 to 10.30 on May 23rd. And... I hope everybody has a really good day. I'm going to stop for a second and just say hi and bye and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to keep working on this. Um, thank you for being here. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow to all the moms. Um, mommy's Day to the dog moms, cat moms, guinea pig moms, I don't know, plant moms. Hey. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a great weekend. Um, I'm going to go back to doing this and just kind of keep talking, and at some point it's going to cut me off. But um, thank you for being here. I'm so happy to see you on Instagram. And uh, we'll see you again. Stay tuned uh, with the museum, mmfa.org. We've got lots going on, y'all, even though we are staying, staying home still for the most part. There's still a lot, of, a lot of programming happening to keep you engaged and keep you happy. Uh, check our Facebook page. Stay in tune here. We will keep you creatively active. Don't you worry. I don't really want that color. Where's my purple? There it is. All right. We've got one minute left, y'all. Thank you again to everybody who's been here. If, if you did follow along or even if you do something later, please send it to um, a, a picture of your drawing or painting if you painted uh, to pr at mmfa.org um, so that we can post it on the botanical art, backyard botanical art part of our webpage. We love to see what you're making. It makes me happy. Please share it with us. And everybody just have a great day. Enjoy the beautiful weather. I'm so happy that all of you were here and shared this with me. And I look forward to hanging out with you again. And I will probably do another poll for next time. So stay tuned for that too. Thank you everybody so